Welcome back to Live to Love. Uh, today we're going to be covering the 2025 product drop from Matthews. Obviously, the big item is the Lift X. Uh, we're also going to cover the RS. And then we've got the big boy, the Lift XD for you tall guys. We also have the Matthews UV slider, the Matthews version, and we've got Bond grips. We're going to go through all that. I'm going to start out by kind of covering all the, the details and the characteristics of the Lift X, and then we'll go through what makes the RS and the XD slightly different. They're all going to have pretty much the same features. It's just kind of different axle to axles and different draw length availabilities. So one of the very attractive new features is called the Limb Shift Technology, or LST. This is very similar to Bowtex. You just take the screw, you remove this, and then you can access an Allen key inside there and you can move the lamb outwards or inwards, which is in turn gonna cause the cam to lean one way or another. With the 2024 lift, a lot of people had issues with the limbs. So now Matthews has released Arc 7 limb technology. It's just a little bit safer, more durable. So you don't have to worry about cracking or anything like that, even though that was just one batch. Another new feature is this SCS or Silent Connect technology. That lets you attach a rope or cable system to hoist your bow up and down out of tree stands. Makes it very easy. Handle is still compatible with shot sense technology. You've got a roller guard still instead of a cable slide. That's always better. So you still have a split yoke system. I love that. Okay, we're just gonna run through the, the stats real quick. So the IBO rating for the 29.5 goes up to 348 feet per second. For the 33 axle to axle, it goes up to 343 feet per second. Uh, for the 29.5, the brace height is 6 inches. For the 33, it's 6.5. The physical weight uh, is slightly higher for the 33, obviously, at 4.26, 3.99, about 4 pounds exactly for the 29.5. The axle to axle is 29.5 or 33. Those are the two options. And the draw weights offered are from 55 up to 80 pounds. The let off is still 80 to 85%. So draw lengths for the 29.5 range from 24.5 up to 30. And for the 33 range from 26 up to 31.5. The 29.5 MSRP is 1359. The going rate for the 33 is 1469. The cam is the SWX. That's the same system that was used in 2024. So the cams and mods are still the same. Uh, you have a whole bunch of new finishes. Shale is new, Kuyu Verde is new, and Shale to Black is new. The only finish that you're not going to pay extra for is the black finish, though. Now, let's talk about the Lift RS. So the Lift RS is a little power puncher. Uh, it has an IBO rating up to 353 feet per second. The brace height is 5.5 inches. The axle to axle is very short at 27.75 inches. The physical weight of the bow is 3.92 pounds. The let off options are 80 or 85% and the draw weights range, same range from 55 up to 80 pounds, uh, going by increments of five. Because it's a smaller bow, it also offers lighter weight limbs. Uh, so you can get 41 pounds, 45 pounds, 49 pounds, 52, 56 or 60 pounds. So that's a cool option. Uh, draw lengths range from 23.5 all the way up to 29, which is very surprising for the axle to axle being only 27.75. The cam is an SWX cam, same as everything else, and the MSRP value is $1,359. Has all the same technology, limb, limb shift technology, ARC-7 for the, the limbs, makes more durable, and the bond grip system. Okay, let's talk about the Lift XD. So boast an insane IBO speed rating of 363 feet per second, which is, that's kept clocked at 33.5 inches of draw. Ridiculous, that's for the tall boys. Uh, brace height is 6.75, axle to axle is 33 inches. Physical weight of the bow is 4.31 pounds. So even though it does get bigger, it's only slightly heavier. Uh, let off is 80 or 85 percent, same thing. Draw weights range from 55 up to 80 pounds, going by increments of five again. The draw lengths go from 32 up to 33.5 inches. Uh, the cam is SWX plus cam, so it's slightly oversized just to let you catch a little bit more and get that longer draw length. When you're unwrapping that cam, a little bit more string comes out. 
The MSRP of the Lyft XD is $14.69. Okay, let's take a look at the Bond grip system. This is all new. So we've got three different grips, different color patterns for each. We've got the engage, the contour, and the taper. These retail each one for about 100 bucks. Now, what's different about each of these? So the engage is pretty much the 2024 Matthews Lyft grip. It's just the exact same feel, fits in there, very consistent uh, width all the way down, and it's a 14 degree angle. Now, the contour is also a 14 degree angle, but the main difference, if you can see, it kind of bows outwards a little bit, right below where your thumb and your index finger would fit in. So if you like feeling like it sits in a little bit more and you want something below your thumb and index finger, uh, contour probably wouldn't be a bad move for you. Now the taper is kind of the last option. That's a more aggressive angle at 17 degrees. Um, let me see if I can show you. So contour compared to taper, you can see that angle is just a little bit more. I personally feel like the taper is kind of a hybrid baby between the engage and contour. Uh, when it comes to its shape. But I know there were a lot of complaints with the 2024 Matthews Lift grip. Uh, so I think it's really cool that Matthews came out with their own uh, interchangeable grips so that you can personalize and fit to your fancy. Not sure I like the price though. Time to talk about the Matthews Bridge Lock UV slider. This is just how it comes in package. Gonna be up front with you. $699, $700 site. I don't know about that. Uh, you open it up. Okay, we got directions, sight tapes, and rechargeable battery for the sight light. So you take it out of the box. I mean, it's it's beautiful for sure. That is a good looking sight. Uh, they have a bunch of options for the pins. You can do. Uh, like vertical, horizontal, you can do five, three, whatever you want. I am planning on doing a more detailed breakdown on this site in the future. I'll go into all the nitty gritty details when we do that video. I'm just showing you basics today. So this is the bridge lock mount. You can see uh, it has a first and second axis and third axis adjustment screws. You got your rail system here. You're gonna go to the bottom where that silver piece is, and you can pull that inwards towards you with your thumb. You see that? Uh, come over here to the wheel, unlock it. Make sure your bubble's on the bottom, and then go, silver piece is gonna go down. So you take your silver piece, pull it in, and then start sliding it in. Whenever it starts making noise, it'll kinda click, and that'll let you know it's in there. Make sure your brake is up, and then you can turn the sight. And it's literally simple as that to set up. And then this goes in your bow, and this would be what you're looking at. Just like that. I mean, it's, it's great looking, for sure. Uh, you have your big knob on the outside, controls the vertical. You got a little knob on the inside, that's your windage knob. So you have to pull that out. Did you hear that? So you can pull that out slightly, and then you can do your windage correction. Very crisp clicks, love that. You push it back in when you're done, that's how you lock it down. You can slide your sight along the guide rail by using the big knob as long as your silver lock is up. If it's down, you can't turn. And it is a very, very good lock. You raise that back up, super, super smooth. So yeah, $700, I don't know about that, but it is a crisp, crisp sight. Can't, can't really, there's not really a whole lot of negatives with this sight other than the price. It is awesome. Uh, to disassemble this sight, you're gonna come over, you're gonna unlock, raise that up, that's your lock. I do really like that the slide and the windage is right there. So you don't have to reach across for anything. My, I have a Trophy Ridge sight right now that I'm running and it's a single pin slider and I have to reach over all the time. Having windage right next to your course adjustment knob for the vertical is really great. Uh, but again, release that. Slide your sight all the way until the silver is at the bottom because the silver is kind of the release. 
Then you're gonna pull this down and then you should be able to just slide the whole thing out. Boom, like that. Super easy, super crisp. And then you can put it right back in the box and you are good to go. Make sure you put that, that lock back down when you put it in box. And we, we will do a more detailed review on that in the future. This is just first look, first glance. All right, so that's the new Matthews product lineup. Uh, the bows are great, the products are great. That's all I got for you today. Always remember, live what you love.